So today I'm in the jungles of South Dakota and I'm, I'm at the reptile gardens. And this place is it's pretty crazy. There's a lot of wild animals that you just, you don't see in a lot of other places. So they got this big dome and it's like a jungle in here with all kinds of animals, especially lizards. There's lizards everywhere and there's awesome guys like the snake hanging out. And you just, you walk around it and it's just absolutely amazing with all the different plants, all the bromeliads and things. And of course, you've got a lot of parrots that are around. Now, you don't touch these animals because they're essentially wild in this little area and they can bite and some of them will. Now the dome here, it has, it has a lot of common species that you know we can see in a lot of places. But upstairs, that's where we get into stuff that some of it, it's only here. They have the only specimen of that species right here in South Dakota. This awesome little snake right here, this is an Ottoman Viper. And um, I think they're all really cool looking. But what's cool about this guy is I used to live really close to where it lived over in Turkey when I was a kid. So it's pretty awesome that this animal is somewhere where I lived. So that kind of makes it very unique to me. So what do you like so much about the Gaboon Viper? It's the shape of the scales, the pattern, and the color, the eyes, the shape of the head, the little, how they just sit there and just, <laughs> it was awesome. Now what's cool about this place is they have just a ton of venomous snakes. I mean stuff that's like so venomous it will, it will kill you dead. Now one of them is these guys back here. These are the black mambas. Of course we've all heard about them. But um, if, you, if we check them out real quick, they're actually pretty docile snakes. I mean, they're not gonna run after you, chase you down, and bite you because they have no interest in you. I mean, it's kind of arrogant to think that this animal is so smart and so intelligent that it can foresee our bad intentions toward it. They're not that smart, but they are fairly smart for a snake. Now this bad dude right here that I'm hanging out with, this is the bomslang, which in Afrikaans means tree snake. But it's a whole lot more than just a tree snake. This is the most venomous snake in Africa. I mean, the venom is a terrible venom. Do not get bit by this snake, whatever you do. It will kill you in a manner that is so awful. You begin to bleed from every orifice, eyes, mouth, and everything down below. So that's a terrible way to go out, and you don't want to mess with a snake. So the guys that take care of this snake, they're some pretty brave and very experienced people. This snake is not something you want to mess with. So this snake had, right here had me really confused when I first saw it because it looks like an eastern diamondback rattlesnake, but there's just something off about it. And so I was looking, I was like, no way that's an eastern diamondback. But like, it has to be, because like, I mean, look, look at all the diamonds on it. So I looked at a little plaque here and it said it's, a cro it's actually a hybrid between an eastern diamondback rattlesnake and a timber rattlesnake, which their range does overlap. However, this one was actually an accident because a zoo, not this one, another zoo housed two of these together. And so they bred and produced this crazy looking animal right here. All right, so in this exhibit, we have probably one of my favorite rattlesnakes. These are the speckled rattlesnakes, and what I love so much about them is their camouflage. There's several different populations, and they don't, they don't move a whole lot. So there's, there's generation after generation living in one general area. So they'll pick up the same pattern as the rocks around them. So these guys are kind of like a grayish blue with some red streaks, but there's some that are pinkish colored, and the camouflage is just so perfect, they blend right in with their natural habitat. And not only do they blend in with their other natural habitat, they blend in with themselves. Their corals just kind of get blurred together and so that you can barely tell what's, what's there, what's sitting right there in front of you. The eyelash viper back here, this is, a, this is a snake that makes me want to just drive down to Central America and find. I mean, it's just incredible looking and there's so many different variations. They can be, I mean, virtually any color almost. All right, so no trip to the gardens is complete without seeing these guys. These are Aldabra giant tortoises. Now what's cool is there's a few different types of tortoises that get huge like this. And you've probably heard of the Galapagos tortoises. Now, all these huge tortoises, they all live on islands. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm pretty sure these are African spur-thighed tortoises, these big ones. <laughs> and, what's funny of, and what's funny is there's a few cranky ones in there and they just kind of want to butt each other and you know push some of the other ones around. It's funny because usually you think 
tortoises, they're kind of benevolent. But these guys have these big hooks right beneath their head, and so they can actually get up under another tortoise and uh, try and push it around, try and flip it over or something. But well, they're pretty funny little guys.